Good morning, Internet. Just wanted to uh, create a new video on something that's very near and dear to me. When I first got my Honda Ruckus, it was expensive to buy parts. Well, not really expensive, but, you know, with a uh, single income in the house, yeah, it was a little bit expensive. I had other things to spend on, like food and bills and gasoline and, and stuff like that. Anyways, uh, I turned towards another hobby that I have, which is uh, 3D printing. 3D printing on a CR10, to be more specific. It's got a 12 by 12 by 14 build space, which is pretty big for a 3D printer. Um, I've had it for about a year and a half now. And uh, in the beginning, all I did was just print stuff that people had pre-made, but then eventually started to learn how to use Fusion 360 through the miracle of YouTube. After a while with uh, playing around with stuff in YouTube, uh, I got the, uh, the Honda Ruckus and I was able to start designing parts to fit on the, on the Honda Ruckus over there. So I want to share some of my designs that I made for the, of the Honda Ruckus. Here are five things that I have created in Fusion 360 for the Honda Ruckus. Oh, I also wanted to show my cool uh, Houston Mini Moto shirt. Uh, in the front, it has the Northwest Houston Mini Motos. On one side, it says stay riding. You can choose on the other side what you wanted to put, and I put my small engine velocity logo, and on the back, do I need to say more? That's what it says on the back. It's awesome, even though I don't know how to wheel it yet. The first thing I designed was a mount for the tachometer. Uh, it's a cheap $10 tachometer that I got on uh, Amazon. I'll put a link below. It doesn't mount on the steering wheel, but it is on the floorboard, and you can glance down to look at it. It's one of those simple tachometers where you just wrap the cord around the boot of the spark plug and it will give you a reading. Uh, make sure to get a secure wrap around it. Uh, you also need to use double-sided sticky tape on the mount so that it can stick to the, to the front of the bike into that little hinge slot. Um, it's also flat on the bottom, so there are multi diff multiple different ways you can mount it, but you know, uh, I didn't want to just stick it on something, so we made a little mount. It looks pretty good. The second thing I made was uh, two types of velocity stacks. There was one that I made that was uh, a graduated cone and it had a, it, it was made to just stick on the end of a, a radiator hose. Uh, I'll put a link in the description on the details of the hose and how to install it. But more or less, it connects to, you cut out a piece of the, the 45 degree bend hose or the 90 degree because the hose that I recommend has two different kinds and you can choose the different uh, bends that you want. You stick the cone on and attach it with hose clamps to the uh, to the carburetor. The second one I made was more of a straight shape on the pipe part, and then you can pull in and out the stack length so that you can kind of tune how you want that to uh, work on your ruckus. That one was recommended by Chris. Uh, you've seen him in other videos before. The third thing that I've designed is um, the license plate mount. Uh, I wanted it to mount to the CVT transmission, but I didn't want it to mount in just one bolt. I've seen too many times now where people's license plates have fallen out when you mount it on there, and I wanted to create a bracket. Now, if you look at the bracket, you did, there are some bolts that you need to buy to replace the current bolts that are in there so that there are links. Um, I'll show you some pictures. Uh, there's also going to be a link for this one below uh, on Thingiverse where you can uh, look at all these designs that I've created. But anyways, uh, there's two different ones. There's one that's straight up and then there's one that's at an angle. The straight up one I guess is good for people who have like kind of a bend in their transmission where they're low so it faces up. And then there's another one that I had since I'm a, a stretch but I'm not super lowered, um, I put a, an, an angle into it. It holds the license plate pretty well. Uh, for those people that need an LED light or a light showing on the license plate, uh, if you look here, I did the uh, I did a uh, LED light with a little cable and then just ran it up the side of the bike. Um, it's actually super bright. You might want to think of a different position to put it in this way because anyone who's on the left of me 
is like blinded by these LED lights. Uh, it's pretty bright. The fourth thing I made was a no cut tail light bracket mod for, I call it a, a jet engine looking integrated tail light. Um, the integrated tail light normally comes with the license plate um, bracket on the wood I have showing on my bike. I took it off because I created the side bracket, but the bracket that's on here now will accommodate the license plate bracket. Uh, it looks good. The wiring is easy. The, the Thingiverse link is below. It also has the instructions. I don't want to go too much in detail because you can look at the instructions on, on Thingiverse. And it looks good. I like it. It looks very well. The, the red on the outside, it gets brighter. And then there in, on the inside, on the inside is the yellow and the yellow blinks for the signal lights left and right. Now in Texas, you're not required to have signal lights, but I like to have signal lights when I use my hand motions and then uh, use the signal lights at the same time. Remember, we are small and lowered, so we have a tendency to uh, not be seen very often. The last thing I have, and it is a collaboration with Chris and I, was the uh, license, uh, sorry, the radiator cover. Uh, we determined that the radiator cover does suck air in, doesn't blow out like some people say, and uh, we created a, uh, a snorkel or like a hood effect on it uh, to help scoop air in it as you're driving to force air through. Uh, if you look at the one I have on here, it warped because it was made of PLA and it, it bent. Uh, but normally I'll make it out of PETG. I'll put a link in the description down below of Chris putting his on and uh, he had options of white and all these other ones on there to try. If you look at the end, it's kind of a, a, a hooked beveled edge and you may wonder how it's supposed to 3D print but it prints uh, end up. And this, was, this went through several revisions. There are other revisions that I have available online um, that are more of a stilt cover or a tent, like I, a tent looking version. But uh, this is the one that went out. This one is not available on Thingiverse. Uh, just message me if there's anything, if you wanna see about getting a version of this cover on here. In conclusion, I just want to let you know that all these designs, except for the radiator cover, are available on Thingiverse. Feel free to grab them, share them, print them. Uh, they are non-commercial licenses, so you can't print and sell whatever I make on here. But you can ask, and uh, I could release them if you'd like me to. All right, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please comment below, like or dislike the video, and I will see you next time.